Paul, it's getting national attention, certainly, but Democrats say they are feeling more confident than ever heading into November. But as Republicans are congratulating Democrats on their victories, they still feel like they've got the momentum. Depending on who you talk to. I think it's a really good sign both for the state of Oklahoma and for the Democratic Party. You'll get a different answer and reaction about Tuesday night's election wins. Voters in Oklahoma just do not traditionally come out and vote in special elections. Michael Brooks becomes Oklahoma's next state senator for Senate District 44, while Karen Gaddis will be the next state representative for House District 76, a victory some political insiders consider an upset as Democrats steal two seats away from Republicans. I think we had really phenomenal candidates who put the work in. I think that Oklahoma voters are ready for change. You know, we are in the midst of a budget crisis. I don't think this is a referendum on the Republican Party or on the values of the Republican Party. It's more of a referendum on people are just getting kind of tired of politics and tired of elections. And there's still more special elections coming up in August, September, and more races in November. We're live at the state capitol tonight. Brett Boganski, KOCO 5 News.